Hey folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and I'm in a brothel, and I just was walking around, you know, they were trying to tell me I don't need to be here, when I saw the son of the, or the daughter, sorry, the daughter or the granddaughter, I think it might be granddaughter, of, um, the dawn of the local organized crime syndicate. Just just hanging out in the brothel. Just right there. Um. Clarice? What? I'm tired of being a good girl. <laughs> Holy crap! How come we're not allowed to, uh, you know... Wait, wait a minute. You were working in organized crime. How are you a good girl the whole time anyways? I mean, alright, you were just, you know, being kind and helping. And You go from not talking to strangers and being told not to talk to strangers to... Prostitution. Either that or you're coming in here to... Solicit prostitutes. Or to, you know, hire them. I don't know what to do with that information, folks. I'm tempted to go back and see whether or not, um... I can save, uh... Well, I don't know if save is the right term. I mean... Maybe it's a very libertarian or uh, careless attitude to have about it, but I mean, heck, sex workers have rights, don't they? If she wants to be a hooker, why can't she be a hooker? At the same time, I'm pretty sure the general philosophy in video games, and in, you know, many parts of society, is you don't want your children to be hookers. So, I feel like and, you know, honestly, if I had a child that turned out they were going to be a hooker, I would probably be concerned myself. But, there are a lot of hypotheticals involved in that situation. Don Puccini, your granddaughter is a hoe. Your granddaughter is a hoe, by the way. Hey there. Can't find Miss Clarice anywhere. So, um. How are you doing? <laughs> it's not how am I doing, it's who am I doing. Uh, not true, of course, because I didn't uh, get, um. I didn't get the, uh. I don't have the ability to spend time in the brothel, apparently. I'm too young. They don't let kids in here. I wonder if I can take long enough in this game that I will age, and then I'll be allowed to go into the brothel. I know, folks. It must seem weird. I seem very focused on this whole brothel thing. But, like, this game is relatively wholesome for large chunks. And then, you get a whorehouse. And you, you get, you get, you get me saying something like, YOU BASTARD! You know, in a way that... Automobile needs servicing. Bring it on in. Bring it on. And I go get it on. Alright. Is there anything going on in here? That was just a guy. 
right, uh, what's modern industry? I could stock silk or sell lumber and steel beams. See you again. Man, if I stocked silk here... Actually, I don't know where I would take it. Okay. So I was about to say I could take it to the... Um, that I could take it to the carpet mill, but the carpet mill already has silkworms. They're already producing silk. Port Motors. I need to go get my uh, tropmobile all sussed out with a hospital bed. I need to take. Uh, pardon me. I need to take our good friend Mallow up to. Um, hey, what's wrong? To Eurydica, the uh, scary ghost town. Let's uh, replace some frames here. Let's replace our back frame. Baby got back frame. Let's see. The white carriage weighs 80. The emergency carriage, the emergency bed only weighs 30. So, I might be able to change my right arm frame and put the trident arm back on there. Yeah, and still be underweight. Awesome. Thank you. Come again. I got a super powerful arm. Complete with sick bed. Alright, let's go to the station again. Yeah, that emergency bed looks like it's uh, gonna be a really comfortable ride for a severely injured person. And I guess the back of the truck mobile is never going to be a comfy ride. It's always going to be a bumpy trot. <laughs> you heard me, folks. A bumpy trot. Let's go ahead and park the trot mobile. Let's get Mallow on board. Mallow, you're on board with this project, aren't you? Excellent. Get out of my way, buddy. I got a date with Captain Sexy Pants. I don't really. You can't do that until after the game's over. Oh, spoiler alert, folks. I could try and go out with Captain Sexy Pants. My son's life is in your hands. Ah, well, good. I have a sharp knife in my hands. <laughs> the Riddica is north of Happy Garland, then east through the woods. Yes, I know where Eurydica is. I'm not trying to be smart-assed, though really, you could have tried to help me with my memory at any time, Sir John. Your map. Be careful, Mallow. I will, Dad. Captain, thanks for everything. Of course. After this is over, you'll have to come visit us. Captain Sexy Pants, considering they tried to make her seem very cruel and stern at the very uh, tutorial sessions, it's turned out to be a very sympathetic character in the end, don't you, don't you think? Anyhow, Sir John, take care of Milo for me. I certainly can't, I'm only his father. Yes, money. Hey, you're a rich guy who uh, owes a great debt to me and Captain Ziplet. And Captain, you're a person who needs a lot of money in order to re rebuild a ship. I'm going to let you two ruminate on that for a while. And I'm going to head out here. Pick up Mallow from Sick Bay. Where he's hanging out with uh, Beverly Crusher and uh, Bones and that one doctor that was supposed to pretty much be the female version of Bones, Dr. Pulaski. Let's go ahead and board the shopmobile. And uh, there's only one way out of town, right? Yeah, Skylar Farm. I suppose it would be fun to go to the arena and fight with uh, Mallow back there, being like, Oh, I'm so weak and frail. Oh, look, a missile. Oh, I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not going to uh, get into a whole lot of extra unnecessary uh, dueling right now. I might do some at some point. I just don't feel like it at the moment. 
there's uh, important uh, errands to be run. Large agricultural area in this country. Skylark Farms. The main crop is Skylarks. Dudley's out here saying, Sick people suck! And for that, they must die! going on down river here. I'm curious. I'm so curious and I'm so curious and I'm so curious and I got laser rest. Hey, I got laser rest. I don't know what you're thinking. Cause there's no surprise. Christmas lights are blanket. Wait, so that's Skylark Farms farmhouses. There's a mystery location over there. You know what that means, folks. Desperately ill person on our bed or no, we have to go check it out. East Skylark Farms. Alright. Apparently it was just, uh... That I'd never been to this part of the map before. Ready for a swim, Mallow? Ah, it's fun down here. Whoa. Actually, with the brightness and the contrast turned up a little bit on you guys' uh, screens, you can probably see this better than I can. I'm having a hard time figuring out where the heck I'm supposed to be going. <laughs> Alright. Back to the east outskirts of Happy Girl. Pretty sure the only way that you can go around now is to the south. And if I remember correctly, there is no whole route around the city. You can't just go through the outside of the city and get to Happy Garland, I'm thinking. Yeah, you get into West Happy Garland or you can go to the southwest outskirts, but you can't loop around the city and get to the Eurydica exit. If I've got the Eureka exit clear in my mind. Which I think I do. It's one of those ones off to the north there. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on here, folks. But, um... But at any rate... I'm gonna talk to our man here. The city mechanic. I'm going to go ahead and save the game. That's right, folks. Saving the game. The charitable admirer overwriting that selected data. You know, just before I go into town, before I go into Happy Garland, because uh, you guys remember what happened last time I went to Happy Garland, don't you? I got wrapped up in an entire video's worth of crazy fighting tournament. This game does... Uh, it's a fun game. It is pretty darn non-linear, but um, it does occasionally just like to, when it wants you to do something for plot, it will make you do something for plot right then by Fennel just coming up to you and saying, oh, you have to now fight this entire tournament of Ultimate Tropmobile Championship thingy doodad. Or, ah, we're the cute elephants, and we took over town while you were out. Yahoo! Now you have to infiltrate our society and take us down from the inside. Or, uh, you know, stuff like that. 
Anyhow, folks, this is Bo the Vulture. This is Let's Play Steambot Chronicles. And we come back next time. Um, hopefully, we will be able to bring Mallow there to uh, Silent Hill, where nothing bad will happen to him. Bye now.